Hey Travis. Hey Kiara. What you doing? We are wrapping our hives. It's 2015, November 22nd, about 40 degrees. Um, this is one of our last yards that we're getting to today. Down here in the cities, that's actually our last yard, except for Kiara's grandparents' yard. But um, yeah, we've been doing this for a couple straight days. But uh, we want to tell you a bit of our process. First thing we came back, we came around a while back. We put our mouse guards in the entrance. This is a quarter inch hardware cloth. Bees can get out of it. The mice can't get in. Um, these are double nuke boxes. We made all this equipment. We got two nice strong hives here. We have about between 30 and 33 pounds. The second box weighs um, all honey. Most of these hives are still down here. Every now and then you see the clusters up here a little bit, but for the most part, they're down low. So we can be open like this, and so they're, they're not flying around much. I see a few bees down there, but they're mainly down here. So what we do is we use a moisture board. And um, I guess to explain a little bit better why we do our, a lot of people do an entrance reducer. We do hardware cloth, keeps some rodents out, but it also allows airflow. We really believe that airflow is very crucial to a hive surviving the winter. So the air can come in here, and we have an upper entrance that we carve out of our moisture board with the dado set. That cluster keep, keeps this hive around 90 degrees, and, that, and they do that, and they eat honey, and they produce a lot of moisture. That moisture, if it doesn't escape, it'll hit the bottom of the lid and it'll freeze, then it'll warm up, and then it'll thaw, and it'll drip back down on the cluster, then it'll get cold again, and that can really kill a cluster. So the moisture board soaks up the moisture. On top of that, we also put foam. And that keeps this relatively warm, so it actually never really freezes. So it's kind of a, a, double, a double whammy of protection. And what is that hole right there? So that's the that's our upper entrance up here. We all in the summer in the honey flow we like that we have a one inch hole drilled in here. Um, but this hole we believe is a little low for them when they because we want to have an upper entrance obviously for the air to get out, but it's also we want easy access for the bees to get out if potentially we have a warm day in the winter that they can get out for their cleansing flight. So the next step our paper. paper I believe keeps out a bit of the weather but the biggest thing about it that I like is that it's black. I think it really soaks up the sun. It kind of brings in a little bit of extra warmth. Okay. And I carve out the little upper entrance. Doesn't have to be beautiful. And you put the lid on.
final step that we do. Wrap it with wire. What do you tie the wire on? We have um, some about two inch exterior screws drilled into the hive stand. Another thing we like, we like to keep our hives closer to the ground. I think that when a person has a hive that's way up high in a hive stand, they're trying to overwinter. Oops, sorry. Coiled yeah, a little bit. Try to get nice and tight. There's a wrap there. This is kind of nice to not have to have a big block up there. Can't even budge it. Um, yeah, it's pretty much our process of overwintering. We're in Hugo, Minnesota. These are our southern yards. We have yards up in northern Minnesota that we still have to get to. We're going to get to those hopefully on Thursday. Um, what's that? And we are Bolton Bees. Check yeah. us out, boltonbees.com. Yep. Have a good day.